And now let's talk video calls with Ivan. So, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Ivan Sein, and I'm one of the developers of the video calls app for Nextcloud. So, yeah, we started we started developing this app like a, around a year ago. Um, we saw that communication and collaborative collaborative tools were like necessary for Nextcloud users. So, yeah, I mean. A normal use case in Nextcloud is that you upload your files to the cloud, um, serve the files with someone, and then yeah, you start working together with it, like for example with Collabora Online or something like that. So we thought that uh, it will be cool if you have like a, yeah, a button that you can call the guy you are uh, working with and yeah, just talk about the document you are you are working on or yeah whatever you want so yeah um, one thing we really wanted it was uh, an app that was easy to deploy so yeah we don't need to like I mean you don't need to install any other service or something and also yeah we are always concerned about security and privacy so yeah, uh, we saw. I mean, all the other solutions that are out there. Yeah, in most of them, like the all your conversation goes through a central server. So and you don't know what what happens there. So yeah, um, we decided to go to yeah to host our own uh, video conferencing system and yeah have it under our control. So. Yeah, right now I'm going to explain yeah, what you can do with this app. So, well, in the keynote, we already saw much of the stuff I'm going to explain right now, but yeah. So, first of all, yeah, call your friends. So, um, you can, like, um, select any of your contacts in Nextcloud and just click on it, and you will automatically create a call with that contact, and yeah. Um, that user will be notified, and he just has to yeah, open the app, and yeah, you can start talking with it. Also, if you want to like add more people to the call, yeah, you just have to yeah, select more contacts of your Nextcloud, and um, yeah, they will be added to the call, and yeah, you, then we, you will have like a conference call or a group call. Um, yeah. Also, in the keynote, this the call we have. It was a public call, so that means that you don't need to. I mean, you can only you cannot only talk with the users you have in your Nextcloud instance, but you can also like make any any call public. So, yeah, you open the the menu of that call you are in, and yeah, you can share a link copy it and send it to well, some friend or yeah, whoever you want to talk with and he just have to like open that link in Firefox or any Chromium based browser and yeah, he will just be in the in the call with you and with all the people you want. So um, yeah, I think that's pretty nice that you cannot only talk with the with your next cloud users, but yeah, with some other people. Um, also, a feature we we saw in the in the keynote was the screen sharing. So, yeah, even if you are in a one-to-one -one call, like we saw in the keynote, or in a group call, like any anyone in the call can yeah can press on the screen sharing button and start start sharing his screen. So for Firefox, you don't need to install anything more because from Firefox 52, it's already. The, I mean, everything is there, so it's just it, it just works. But for Chrome, you need to install an an extension. But yeah, I mean, um, whenever you 
you press the screen sharing button. Um, yeah, if you don't have the extension already installed, you will see a pop up, and yeah, you just click on it, and yeah, it will directly redirect you to the extension site, and yeah, it's just one click, and you install it. So, yeah, as I said before, so one really important thing for us it was to to have an app that it was really easy to install and yeah uh, so the administrator of your of your next cloud instance just have to go to the app section and um, go to the yeah, communication section or something or search for the video calls app and enable it so there is no need to install any other server or yeah, any crazy configuration, so it just it will just work out of out of the box. So yeah. Um, also, we are working hard on like completely integrate like the video calls up in in Nextcloud. So yeah, on Nextcloud 12, we we added this um, contacts menu on on the top right of the of yeah of the of nextcloud in the web uh, so yeah whenever you have the the video calls app enabled so you will see that when you search for a contact you you can directly email him or but also yeah uh, you can create a call directly with him also yeah um, as i said before whenever you create a call with any of your contacts he will receive a notification, and yeah, we are currently working in much more things. So yeah, I'm gonna explain like some of the features we are currently working, and yeah, they will come soon to the to the app. So one of the first one is moderation. So right now, um, whenever you create a call, like you can add people, but um, we are working on to be able to moderate the calls you create, so you can like add people, delete people. I mean, participants of the of the call. Also, like you can mute some some kind of people. So they, there will be like type of participants in a call. So right now, like everyone has like superpowers, so can do whatever they want. But yeah, we are working on moderation. Also. Password protected calls. So for uh, public calls, um, we will have like um, so. At this moment, whenever you share this link, anyone who has the link can join that that call. So we wanted to add yeah, something on top of that that it will be a password protection. So yeah, you will need the, the link, but also the password to join these calls. Um, scheduling calls. So we want to integrate the, the the video calls app also with calendar. So you will have this uh, webinar thingy. So you can like um, yeah schedule call with some participants and you create an event on <coughs> on your calendar and it will everyone will be notified before the the call starts and. Uh, yeah, and this also chat will be integrated in a, in a, in the video calls app and yeah mobile clients for iOS and Android. So you could use your phone to directly call and not only the the web interface and yeah much more things. So last thing, so yeah anyone who who is interested in the in this project and yeah, find it like yeah interesting? Um, they are more than well than welcome to yeah to visit the the, the repo in on our GitHub and yeah just open issues or yeah just request some features so yeah we can discuss it and yeah. And that's basically it. So thank you for your attention and yeah. <laughs>